What's up, Space Cadets? This is KJ4E, and welcome back to my Let's Play for Space Engineers. All right, guys, I have finally found and harvested some magnesium. So now we need to start looking at ammo. So in case uh, any of the space pirates up there get a little uppity, I can take them out, you know, whenever I need to. Um, also, I'm going to need a lot more large tubes. So I upped that to uh, 2,000. I'm going to need a lot more... Um, what was the other thing I need? Metal grid, so I upped that to 2,000. And I think that just about, bring, well, actually that does not bring you up to speed. Let me show you at the next piece that I'm going to be bringing up into space uh, for the Castiel Space Station. Now, I did reload the game and relaunch the Castiel Space Station. All right, it is now in orbit and it's, you know, um, it is what it is. I want to find a place to actually build my base um, my actual space station, all right? I want it to be at least next to an asteroid, and I might actually make it connected to an asteroid. Uh, but this is what I'm, this is the one I'm making next, the refinery. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna call it. Uh, the refinery room, <laughs> for lack of a better word. <clears throat> I found these, uh, cool, like, glass, uh, window thingies, which I thought were pretty cool, so I'm gonna use those on the sides. Um, up the middle, I had a little bit of room, so I'm gonna put some more up here. I've left room behind them for uh, modules, and I think we are ready to rock on this. And I also put some LCDs up there just in case I want to use those. Um, we're not blasting this thing off today. I'm just kind of like, you know, um, getting ahead on this stuff. All right, so now that I've got you up to speed on that, I think what we want to do is deal with the. Oh boy, I was every once in a while I fall down there thinking it's like part of my base. I should probably, you know, clear that up. Anyway, let's come in here and let's go ahead and deal with this magnesium issue, okay? So I think what I need to do is, I need to refine the magnesium, right? So let's go ahead into here and look at our, our refineries. Actually, no, we'll go to control panel and look for the refineries. Um, all right, so let's make this one the magnesium one. Why not? Sounds good to me. All right, so that's special, so custom data. And I don't think this is set up to take anything in... Oh, ore and gold. All right. I'm going to take that off of ore and gold and ore and silver. All right, so that's good. So this is going to be for um, ore magnesium. One, two, three. All right, and then what we'll do is we'll rename it to refinery magnesium. There we go. And now that should, that should be bringing in magnesium now. Um, okay, so refinery magnesium. There we go. Cool. Very cool. So there's the magnesium, and now we can make some bullets. All right, so um, the ammo we need for the Gatlin guns, please tell me if I'm wrong about this. I hope I'm not. But the ammo we need for the Gatlin guns, I believe, is this stuff right here, right? So is there only two ammo in the game? First of all, this um, whatever this is, that's a mod, I think. I think that's a mod as well. All right, the missiles and the... NATO ammo are the only things I think are in the game. And um, it's weird that it doesn't say I have the magnesium. I know I have the magnesium. Huh. Oh, there we go. We now have the magnesium. Okay. So once we make one of these, I can set it up to make as many as I want. Um, what is that called? NATO something or other? Uh, see, it's not on the list. All right, let's see if we can get it on the list. And there it is, the NATO 25 millimeter. Now, I'm not sure if this is the actual ammo I need, so I'm not going to mass produce it just yet, okay? But what I am going to do is I'm going to make a little bit of it. So I'm going to come in here. By the way, the way, I did, <clears throat> the way I got that to show up, I don't know if you need to do it, but I came to the programmable block, and then I hit run. I don't know if you need to do that. I might have just been able to wait a little, bo a little bit, but whatever. Whatevs. It worked. That's all that matters. All right, so right here, the NATO stuff. Let's go ahead and make a uh, hundred of those. <clears throat> there we go. All right, so A means it's in the uh, assembler, and it, we're waiting for it. Cool. All right, so we got that going pretty good. Um, I think we're going to go to space now, guys. I want to go to space, and I want to um, find a place for my... Uh, for my space station. And look, I've got... Um, I'm not going to deal with atmospheric thrusters anymore, so I've got four... Of the big thrusters pointing down. Hopefully that will be enough. I can always add more if it's not. All right, so let's come on over here to. Uh, this is gonna bother me. This is gonna bother me. This the lack of light here is driving me up a wall. It's not even nighttime. All right, so let's go ahead and put a light right there. All right, we'll mess around with it later. 
wait for it to get built. Okay, so let's come on over here to the Hydro Thrust. And I've made one important change to the Hydro Thrust that I wanted to uh, take you through. All right, so inventory. I went ahead and locked this because I'm going to want to bring up certain things um, for this trip. Uh, I'm going to want to bring up as many materials as I can. I'm going to need materials for um, conveyors because up in space, uh, the... Um, the medical, you know, building that I launched last, last episode is not connected to the, um, hydrogen generators. So I can't generate electric up there. Now I could easily do solar panels and I will eventually, but I'm not going to do that right now. Um, the reason I am bringing solar panels though, and I also need a lot of motors is for quests. All right. So we're going to go ahead and throw all that stuff in there. Now, see, we can't move a lot of this big stuff, which is kind of a bummer. Um, because of where I put the, uh, the connector, it's going through small conveyors, which means I got to move a lot of this stuff by hand, which was, um, eh, a bit of a, a bit of a, a tactical oversight there. So anyway, let me get this thing loaded up and then we're going to head into space. All right, guys, I've loaded this thing up big time <clears throat> and I would like to take some ammo to space if I can. I'm not sure how heavy the ammo is. Also, can the ammo go through small conveyor tubes? That's a good question. Let's take a look. Uh, right here, locked, and NATO. Um, I only see one. Nope, there's probably another one down here. Uh, man, I got a lot of stuff. There it is. Oh, okay, cool. Cool. So it doesn't take up a lot of space or weight or anything like that. That's great. That's great. I'll take as much as I can. All right, now the fun part. Is this thing going to take off? Oops. I don't want version one. I was doing a save because I didn't know if I was going to be able to make it down to Earth um, before I started recording. All right, so um, let's go ahead and turn our hydrogen, in, uh, hydrogen tank on. There we go. And uh, let's see if we can get the space, huh? I honestly don't know. I don't know. I've never taken this thing up completely 100% uh, you know, full. So, yep, uh, I'm locked. Hold on. There we go. Oh, boy. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Yeah, I think we're going to be okay. <laughs> Man, we're going up fast. We are going fast. We're going like a bat out of hell. Now, usually about 40,000 uh, meters. You want to, like, point up and only rely on hydrogen. I think your um, atmospheric thrusters stop working. Like, they, they stop working completely at 40,000, but you kind of want to start a little bit earlier than that. So let's do this. There we go. And three, 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 three. All right, there we go. Uh, we are losing speed. That is not good. I don't know if we're going to be able to make it up with this thing. Are we, can we start gaining some speed now? If we get away from the uh, planet's gravity enough, we might be able to start gaining speed. Yep, we're gaining speed. Oh man, that was close. That was close. Because when you start when you start losing speed, um, you know, obviously that's no good. Um, but the thing is, as the the farther away you get from the planet, the less gravity there is pulling you down. And then, you know, at that point, if you get far enough away, you'll start gaining speed again. And if you do, obviously you're good to go. All right, GPS, the Castiel Space Station. I did remember to mark it this time. Okay, and there it is. There it is. Oh, boy, Castiel Space Station, here I come. All right, guys, I've just been up here on the Castiel Space Station, and my guns are shooting at something. Oh, my God. What the hell is that? Oh, God, I don't know what's going on here. Something just got destroyed, and then all its stuff crashed into my space station. What is that? That's a piece of the ship. <laughs> oh, man. Holy crap, dude. I was only up here for a few seconds. All of a sudden, um, basically what I did was I got to the Castiel space station. I went ahead and docked, and I guess what it did was it took all the NATO rounds and put them in the Gatling guns. Thank God. Oh, my God. Um, wow. NATO. Okay, so we've got some still in here, and it looks like uh, it's got 12 boxes in each Gatlin gun. Oh my god. That, dude! Freaking, I love it! I love it! I'm scared. I'm scared to lose the Castiel Space Station, but at the same time, man, that's freaking dope. It's dope, bro. Oh man, I think I gotta put a projector on here, by the way. Um, yeah. Oh boy, I'm freaking nervous now. 
That's freaking cool, man. Oh, I love that. My first attack. And they... Oh, there's something else out there. Now, I don't have anything that's like... Like... You know, ready to go out and shoot that thing down. But if it comes near this thing, you know, seems like it, I can kind of handle myself. Hopefully. Man, I keep getting attacked. And you know what sucks? Like, I get attacked and, like, they fly in fast. I kill them pretty quickly. Um, but the problem is their ships have momentum and they keep crashing into my base. Although I don't see any damage. I wish there was an easier way to see damage in this game. You know what I mean? Um, they definitely hit this thing. Uh, at least I think they did. But I'm not seeing any damage, so I'm assuming it's it's all right. Um, I, I don't know. Again, I don't see any damage. So I need to get a projector on this, and I also need to get a projector on this. But uh, we're not going to be doing that today. Um, <laughs> I also moved the, uh, the connector back, took off the landing gear, and uh, we have the connector in the back, which is great. So we can uh, take things off this a lot easier. Take it in and out, no problem. Um, I had to take apart some of the gyroscopes inside for computers because I didn't have enough. And I think that brings you guys just about up to speed what do i have on me um okay so i got some stuff on me let me go inside and dump all this stuff into the uh the gyroscope i took that apart as well i'm not going to need the uh, atmospheric thrusters this thing's never going back into uh into uh atmosphere so i will take those apart at some point let's go ahead and dump this into there dump that into there uh, none of it's going to be full. That's okay. We still have no oxygen in here yet, but that eh, doesn't really matter, to be honest. Um, so, no big deal. They should put some kind of discomfort thing on you where you have to, like, take off your spacesuit every once in a while, maybe. I don't know. Something like that would be pretty cool. All right. I'm going to dump everything in there. We're going to save the game. Uh, no, no, no. Save as. There we go. And we will save season three. I usually use version one as like an offshoot save in case like I'm not sure if things are going to go okay. All right. So what we need to do now is we need to find a spot for this thing. Um, I want to find a spot for my base. And I want it to be inside of an asteroid. Uh, so first things first. Let's see if we could find a nice fat asteroid. Oh, see? There is smoke coming off. Now, is that from something that was damaged or is that just because my thrusters were pointing down towards something? I don't know. We should probably check that out. Um, no, I mean, nothing looks damaged here. I don't know what that smoke was. That might have just been... Did I do damage to my space station? Th you know, the thrusters pointing down can do some damage. But Oh, yeah, look at that. So I don't know if that was from my thrusters or not. I don't think it was. I think that was... Honestly, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. Right, I'm not going to worry about it. All right, so let's go over here to GPS, and we will turn on... What do we want to build next to? Iron, cobalt, and nickel. I think ice would be a good spot to build near. Ooh, magnesium and silicon. Um, maybe we should build uh, platinum. Should we build near the platinum? I kind of wanted to build near iron or at least ice. Well, that has ice, so let's build near that. Although that's really far away, isn't it? I think it is. Yeah, that's oh, freaking really far away. You know how long it's going to take me to get this thing there? Um, well, whatever. Let's just do it. I, I really like being close to the planet. Now, do I want to build, like, at a specific... You know what? I don't know. I kind of want to build right above my headquarters. I don't want to go, like, off anywhere crazy. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to look for an asteroid closer to us. And just build there. I don't think I want to go over there because I think that's where the enemy was. Get the enemy over here. I don't know. That might not be too bad of a place. GPS. Does it show the ones that are closest or... Alright, whatever. Let's just turn them all on. There we go. I love being able to double click. Thank you for that. Thank you for that, by the way. Entry, respawn pond. Uh, there we go. Okay, so that's ice and nickel. That is pretty close to us. That wouldn't be so bad, I guess. Ice and nickel. I mean, I don't really care about nickel. I kind of just want somewhere where there's going to be ice. All right, so there's the Castile Space Station. Is that where the? Is that where those enemies were? Right there. That's a nice big freaking chunk. That's a big asteroid, man. That might be a cool place to build. Yep. No, nope, the space pirates are over there. God darn it. Gosh, darn it. All right, well, that ice and nickel wouldn't be a terrible spot. Do we have any other big asteroids in the area? I'm not really seeing any really big ones. 
Although it's kind of hard. Yeah, that looks like a pretty decent size asteroid. And what we'll do is we'll just tunnel into it and we'll build on the inside and then we'll park this thing right next to it. And then we'll kind of just play it by ear, see how things go. <laughs> I don't really know uh, how I'm going to do this exactly. Um, I have some ideas, but nothing um, concrete. Let's turn around so we can slow down. And let's take a look at this asteroid. See if it's see if it's one we'd like to build there. Alright guys, I went out and checked that checked out that asteroid and it was pretty pretty sweet. That ice nickel one. Oh boy, we're getting hold on, hold on. Oh no, 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 no. We're, we're gonna get attacked from underneath where our our uh, guns can't help us. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. No, 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 no. Oh, the, everything's off. Large hydrogen thrusters all on, please. Um, not really sure why I can't move. Uh, there we go. Nope, still can't move. Well, those can, those will work. Come on, come on. <sighs> this thing's not made for this. Really? Come on. Shoot those damn things. There you go. Get them. How close do they have to be? Not really sure. They seem pretty close to me. Alright, we're going to go up here. We're going to aim towards that um, ice nickel asteroid is where we want to go. This thing is not made to be flying around like this. Um, it, it can move, but this isn't really ideal. Um, so we're going to kind of just aim in this direct direction. Use our good thrusters in the back and try and... Yeah, this is not... <laughs> this is not what this is made for. But um, we should be okay. Let's see like we're moving. We are moving. We're just moving in the wrong direction, I guess. Yeah, this is tough. This is tough. All right, we're getting closer now. We don't want to go too fast because we'll have a hard time stopping. It's weird. It's like large hydrogen thrusters. They're all on. No, they're not. No, only some of them are on. All right, so that one, that one needs to go on. 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 There we go. That's better. <laughs> yeah, the, the thrusters are like on a toggle, so sometimes when you think you're putting them all, them all on, if they were off to begin with, maybe it's not putting them on. So, yeah, it's, it's not easy. It's not easy flying this thing. It ain't easy being cheesy. Let me see if I can get close to this asteroid. Whoever thought this thing would be so hard to fly in space? <laughs> oh, man. Um, yeah, freaking hydro thrust. I gotta deal with the, um, with the thrusters on the hydro thrust. Because uh, it's like fighting against what this thing's trying to do and making me burn more fuel. I just don't want to really deal with it right now. Um, I'm going to kind of put this thing uh, down. <clears throat> because I don't want anything coming up from below me. Where I don't have any guns. Um, and I'm going to have to put guns all around the next ship I fly out here like this. Alright. That should be pretty relatively safe I hope. Um, now don't forget this thing doesn't have gyroscope, so that's kind of the reason I'm having uh, trouble maneuvering it. So there's that. All right, this thing should be somewhat safe, I guess. Um, I wonder if I could finish these. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, let's take a look. We might actually be able to. One, two. Now let's go on the roof where we keep all our stuff. Look at that, man. Oh, this game is so freaking cool. God, I love this game. <laughs> there we go. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, no, I didn't get everything. But I got a lot of stuff. So let's see if we can kind of finish these. Okay, one more. Yep, sounds like we're getting attacked. Well, they're getting attacked. So watch what happens, right? They get destroyed, but because of their forward momentum, they still crash into my ship. Right? Isn't that annoying? Although, I don't think they're doing a lot of damage. That didn't look like it did a lot of damage. So. Not that I really need any of this. It's just whatever. Yeah, actually, I don't think that did much damage at all. Uh, <laughs> pieces of their ship. I gotta get some more ammo up here, too. 
Um, all right, yeah. I mean, they even crashed into these conveyor junctions and it didn't destroy them. So yeah, maybe that maybe that stuff doesn't do any damage. It just it made me nervous when I first saw it. Uh, oh, here we go. Some thrusters. Ion thrusters. Uh, actually, I don't think that's a big deal, but. You hear that? It's not like there's something going on over here. Uh, I'll take the iron thrusters. Who knows? Maybe there's something in there that I just got that'll be that'll be helpful. What is that? Just a piece. Sounds like there's something going on over here, but. I don't know. Sounds like there's something going on over here, but I don't... I don't know. I don't think there is. Man, freaking space makes me nervous, bro. Alright, so let's dump everything in there, and then let's see if we can finish that. So I've been coming to space for a little while now, and mostly in small vessels. Now that I come in what is considered a big vessel, that's when I start getting attacked. I'm thinking you get, you get attacked more when you're in a big vessel. Which is pretty cool. Makes a lot of sense, too. Um, oh, by the way, that's sound. Uh, this I had one of these um, conveyor junctions, and there was like a piece of the spaceship like rattling around inside of it. So I had to destroy the convey conveyor conveyor uh, junction to get to the piece of ship that was in there. It was one of the enemy ships. Um, I also set up. Let me just do this. Uh, remove from toolbar. Um, hydro thrust uh, thrusters. Toggle on and off. There we go. And let's go ahead and save the game in case something weird happens. I put all the Hydro Thrust Thrusters in one group, and they should be good to go now. Um, let's go ahead and undock. Yep, and we should be okay. So let me show you where I'm going to uh, start the space station. Alright, it's right over here. I want the space station to be facing the planet, and I wanted it almost directly over my headquarters. Okay, so this part meets both criteria. All right, I'm thinking like right here. Just start burrowing into this sucker. Uh, maybe lower or... Eh, looks like a pretty good spot, actually. Yeah, it looks like a pretty decent spot. I'm thinking right here. All right, and then we'll just we'll poke in here. We'll start a base, and then what I want to do is I want to connect... I want to connect um, the base I start on the asteroid onto the first part of the Castiel space station, which is that, you know, the part that I have in space already. So, um, yeah, let's get started. Um, drills. I don't know why I don't have drills here. I feel like I put drills here, but maybe not. There we go. And let's start making an entrance. Might need a bigger... We're going to need a bigger drill ship, I think, but that's okay. We're This isn't going to be anything fancy to start off with. It's just going to be a little hole here and, um, you know, just enough for me to get, you know, some pieces in and just start building, you know, just start building stuff, man. I'm so freaking excited to start building, like really start building. Um, I also am going to need to get a build a repair system up here ASAP. Um, so that should be pretty fun. All right, let's start digging in here. Okay. I hate the, is there a mod to take all that like extra, you know, Particle effects or whatever the hell out of my face so I can see where I'm going. That would be wonderful if there was. Okay. All right. Well, guys, I do think I'm gonna call this one a little bit early because there's not much else to say here, man. But those uh those space pirates got me nervous, man. They really got me nervous. So, oh by the way, I shouldn't be drilling stone like this, should I? No, I definitely shouldn't. So let's come out here and get rid of this stone. Go stone. See, I gotta bring in my inventory first. Ugh, and now it's in my way. All right, get out of the way, stone. I should be right clicking. Oh god, see, I'm coming in hot because I'm, I'm, I'm freaking uh, encumbered now. That's all right. I'll get rid of the stone off camera. I will be digging in here off camera. We gonna do a next episode. I don't freaking know. It's gonna be epic though. You could bet on that. <laughs> All right, guys, I am going to call this one here. If you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.